Candace Gra Goldman recently interviewed Alison Co on her show, Quantum Healing with Candace. Alison is a quantum healing hypnosis technique, QHHT, practitioner who has been reporting on patterns from her clients about the shift to the new earth. I am including the video below, and I thought it would be helpful to summarize the first part of the interview about what Alison's clients' higher selves had to say. I felt like the main message I would like to share with you today is that the new earth can be magnetized to us faster by reading, talking, and thinking about it. Alison says there is a pattern of her QHHT clients talking about a supernatural event that is coming to the earth from the sky. It will change all of the systems on the earth. Allison stated that she has known even before becoming a QHHT practitioner that this event was going to take place in her lifetime, and this information was not only exciting confirmation for her, but that these clients that speak about this could possibly be magnetized to her because of her prior knowledge about the topic. The clients say that there is a big wave coming to earth. It will raise the vibration of every living thing on the planet and will prepare us for Earth's final shift or ascension to a new higher vibration. People may be leaving in groups or wave, as they shift vibration, and thus their reality shifts from the old Earth to the new Earth. It is like Earth, but it's like a completely different planet. Allison has taken the opportunity to ask the clients when this wave will occur and the majority of them seem to say in the first quarter of 2018. Allison makes it clear in the interview that she is only the messenger and feels like this wave is coming soon, but reminds us that it could happen anytime and not to get too caught up in the actual date. Allison has also asked clients what the wave will be like. One of her clients said that she saw it all happen and slowed it down into slow motion so that she could describe it. The client says that people will feel it coming before they see it. There will be an energy crackling feeling inside the body which might prompt you to go outside. The wave itself will look like multicolored smoke saturating the earth. It looks like a wall miles high up into the air and may freak people out to see this anomaly. After the wave comes to the planet, some people will be out of it for a while as they adjust to the frequency. It will be different for different people, but it may take a while for some people to acclimate. Ultimately, the wave will raise each person's vibration, and those who have already been doing the work will not be affected like others who have not been preparing. Imagine the time that you have spent on your gradual awakening happening in an instant and on a grand scale. When you had some of your bad days, you didn't feel like going to work and maybe you couldn't even think straight. This will happen all over the world according to the client. This is what all of the preparation is about in the collective consciousness. If no one goes to work to deliver water, bread, eggs, vegetables, etc., and people are shocked for a short period of time, there may be a run on supplies and it may take a few days for the people to feel like going back to work to get the deliveries back to normal at the grocery stores. Many people will want to know what is happening and will need to talk to people who already know about this or have read about it on N5D's New Earth News and other alternative websites. Allison asked some of the higher selves what we should be doing right now. The majority say to just be and to wait patiently. Systems that aren't based on truth and love are already breaking down and people who are running these systems do not want to go to work. Many people are resigning from their jobs in high-level cabal positions. As we continue to speak our truth and share information about the shift to the new earth, we hold a tone or vibration within us that magnetically attracts the wave of energy to us. I have often wondered if we are actually creating the wave itself. The tendrils of the wave have already been affecting us and we have already experienced many many waves to get us to the point that we are at now. The big one is coming, and it will be the next big sign that we are getting close to the reality shift from old earth to the new. Listen more about this topic in the interview. Editor's Note I put a link to Allison's event, Altering Timelines, 
and quantum healing video down in the description box below this video.